everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I got up, and at a quarter to 12, I remembered I was supposed to go to the school to watch a little concert, and I forgot all about it. It was at 9.30, but I forgot, totally forgot about it. And today is Emily's birthday, but she's already gotten her birthday present. Plus, I sent her a message, and she's, I don't know what she's doing today, but she's doing something that she wants to do. She is 29 today, to be 29. Yeah. Far cry from where I'm at. Um, today, I got a card in the mail from Mike. I did open it only because I wanted to not ruin the little stickers on the back. So I've kind of moved them. They were like they were over the over the seams, but I moved them because I didn't want to ruin them. My my grandkids have sticker books, and they will put those stickers in that sticker book, and they'll be as happy as can be. But anyways, he sent me a Christmas card. Thank you, Mike. And Mike is from Life with with Mike. Now he's called. I call him Michael because that's what his name is. <laughs> But it's a, it's got real pretty, you know, the red truck thing must be the theme of everything. They're putting the red truck in. You know, my father used to have a truck that looked like that. Um, he had also a, what was that big milk, was it a milk truck or whatever in the back? Yeah, he had, it used to be, used a, to be milk a milk truck yeah. he had in the back. Model, model A, I think. Yeah, and um, he had what we used to call the jalopy. They were a model T's. I think those were model T's. And we used to use those when we worked out in the field. And the one time I was, oh, I can tell a story about one of the model T's. Now that I have started talking, I've got something to say. And it's so <laughs> funny because as soon as I turn the camera on, I, or before I turn it on, I always say, what shall I talk about today? I have nothing. I had lots of thoughts, but nothing that stuck. Well, anyways, we had a model T and it had when it had an electric starter on it only because my dad I think he did he put it on there I can't I remember I think he that. did because we, I remember my brothers cranking it to start it and you had to be very careful when you cranked a vehicle because that that crank could whip back and break your arm well I used to have to drive the Model T through the grape vineyards and my dad and my brother would be on the back he had a wooden trailer that he slid underneath the frame of the platform plat no, it was sure. like a platform on the back so it'd be like they could stand on it and it was a removable thing and they had their sledgehammers and this now these vehicles had real touchy clutches on them and they were standard and so I would have to dr I was driving and my brother and my dad would be on the back with the sledgehammer and I would pull the the jalopy up a little bit just enough so that they were across from each of the posts of the grapes and then they would pound the post in and then I'd move ahead well I let the clutch out really fast one time and they're standing on the back of this trailer that has no sides no back just a flat flat platform and I let the clutch out really fast and my dad went flying off of the back end with the sledgehammer got up off the ground and he looks at me and I thought oh sure I'm going to be yelled at now he says take it a little easier let the clutch out easier <laughs> he was so calm it was like I could not believe that um I didn't get yelled at but I didn't get yelled at so yeah, it was your dad, though. He was yeah he was real mild my mother would have been screaming her head off at me and I might have been dead today you never know she was a little bit more um strong-armed or strong she was more, uh, she was the she was the tough one of the family my father was the softy but um yeah and another time I ran it I when I was learning to ride a bike I was um, following the jalopy down the field and to go into the the second one of the lower fields where the berries were it was a hill and I didn't know how to stop my bike and I ran into the bumper of the back of the jalopy and I blew the tire on the bike so the bike had to go home on the jalopy and so did I 
So that was, um, it was kind of a neat, neat, um, thing. I did take a picture of it. I'd have to search it out. I don't know if I could find it or not, but I did take a picture of the jalopy and I took a picture of the lawnmower because it was like the old and the new. I used to love to take pictures and that was with my brownie camera where you had to look down into the thing and hope you got the right frame and lighting and everything because it was a one chance thing. So that was it, I guess. And I want to put in, in this video, I, yesterday I forgot to mention it. I had gotten a really huge egg and I boiled eggs yesterday and the one I told my daughter, if she needs eggs, take the carton that doesn't have the grape a huge egg in it because I want to eat that egg. And I boiled it and I cut it open because I figured it has to be a double yolk and it was a double yolk. And I show that egg next to a regular size egg. It was huge and it did have two yolks in it. So I'm going to put that little video in too. I'll put it in right here. I just peeled some eggs and I've got this giant one right in here that I'm going to cut in half. I think it's a, I think it's, I think it's, no, I don't want this. I think it's a, a double yoker. It's huge. Look how big he is compared to, here's a, I'll put it to, here's a regular size egg. <laughs> it's so big. I'm going to cut it this way. I've got cheese on my knife. Oh, it is a double yolk. See? One, two. There's two yolks in there. I'll cut, oh, that's sort of sad. The cheese makes it so it doesn't cut very nice. I'll cut it here. I think because it's warm too. And they're hot. That one's got one at yolk. Delicious. I love the yolk. Best part. <laughs> I guess it'll go in. And then, um, I guess that's it. We'll say goodbye, so bye.